according to Google, the first three businesses listed in the Maps Pack get 47% of the phone calls when people are Googling for phrases and for local businesses. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. Let's get into three ways how loan officers can get more Google reviews from their clients. All right, so number one, probably the most obvious is ask everyone. Okay, I'm gonna show you my buddy Sweet Lou, he's over in Springfield, New Jersey. He's added over 200 Google reviews in the past year simply by asking everyone that he talks to. It doesn't matter if somebody is already a client, somebody's already doing business with you, they can still recommend you, right? They can still leave a review if they had a great experience with you. So every time you talk to a customer on the phone or a potential customer or an internet lead or a realtor, or obviously anytime you have a closing, but you need to be asking everybody to leave reviews. The truth is that negative people are way louder than positive people. And so somebody who has a negative experience, they're gonna go leave a review automatically on their own because it's just what people do today. But positive people don't tend to necessarily express their experience or share their experience with people as easily as negative people do. So you need to be asking people to leave reviews. Let them know how important it is to you, how much it means to your local business. The fact that, you know, it's going to help you get more customers that maybe felt like they felt or were in the same situation they were in or have the same dreams, desires, and goals that they have. But you need to be asking everybody to leave you a Google review. Okay. So again, don't just wait until after closings occur or don't just wait until you you've already done business with somebody that's not a requirement for somebody to recommend you or to give their experience of what it was like talking to you right anybody can do that and so again just ask everybody that you talk to for a google review all right second thing is you can give people keywords that are really important to you so one thing to remember is that google you know, they have all these little crawly robots or spiders or whatever you want to call them. And they're constantly searching for new content online. So if they go to your Google business listing and there's new reviews there, they're going to what they call scrape the data. They're going to look at all the words that were used in the review. And based on that is going to help determine if you should move up in the rankings. So which review do you think sounds better? If somebody says, Nick Carpenter's awesome. He helped me a ton. I highly recommend Nick. Or if somebody says, Nick Carpenter is an amazing mortgage marketing coach. His training system to attract realtors helped me grow my mortgage business, blah, 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 right? That's going to obviously hold way more weight. So same thing is true when customers or whoever it is that's leaving you a review, uh, give them keywords to use in their review. So keywords like buying a house, home buyer, mortgage, home loan, whatever city you're in, your mortgage company name, your mortgage company name, um, your team name, whatever it is, right? You, you have different pieces that, um, of information that will help Google know what is this review actually about? Like saying that you're awesome isn't nearly as good as saying you're awesome at doing home loans and getting people into a house, right? So give people keywords. It feels kind of weird when you're doing it, if I'm being honest, but it's very helpful because you'll notice that the reviews, the quality of the review and the words that get used in the review are going to actually help you with your search engine optimization, with ranking higher, which is, again, the whole point of doing this is we want to get that free business from Google, right? So make sure that you give keywords, give recommendations, give ideas. You can even share sample reviews that are really good. The only thing I found with giving sample reviews is that sometimes people are just lazy and they will just copy and paste, you know, basically your sample. And that creates a problem when people all sound too similar. So I, I've actually found just giving keywords is the best thing at this point and let people write their own um, review, write their own words and their own sentence structures, but using the keywords that you're recommending. All right, last thing that's going to help you a ton with your reviews is that anybody that's leaving you a review has the ability to attach photos and or videos. So anytime that you can um, help your clients or help whoever's leaving the review, if they have a relevant photo or relevant videos, those are going to be really helpful for the review. Again, Google AI can look at the photo. Oftentimes, 
if you're, if, if you, you know, whoever's being like, let's say if they're leaving a review about me, if I'm in the photo, that's going to be really helpful, but also not a requirement. But we want to show people, you know, when, when somebody's going through and looking at Google reviews and they can see some, a happy family standing outside of their house and the review says that you helped them get, get into that house. All of this is going to make it super believable, right? Because people today, they're very um, skeptical of reviews, right? I mean, I see almost every day in the Facebook news feed some company offering to get you 30 reviews for $300. Like, where do you think those are coming from, right? Those are obviously not real reviews. And that's my point of people's skepticism. So if you can have a client attach photos or a video or photos and video, there is some kind of limit, but I don't know exactly what it is off the top of my head. It's like 15 photos and one video or something like that, right? So if they can attach some photos, attach a video, that's going to help your reviews a ton. It's also going to help the believability when other people are coming through and reading their reviews, okay? So ask everyone, give them keywords that are going to help make your reviews actually benefit your listing and move you up in the Google rankings and ask them to attach reviews, or excuse me, ask them to attach photos or videos or both to the review so that it's going to help it uh, show up better and, and be more believable when other people are looking through the reviews. All right, that's what I've got for you right now. Click around here, uh, you know, make sure that you're liking and subscribing on the video. That helps me a ton. And drop me a comment and let me know how many Google reviews do you have right now? Because maybe there's a couple of ideas that I have that can um, help you. And if you want, drop me a link in the comments. Drop me a link to your Google business listing and I will check it out and maybe I have a couple recommendations for you. All right, see you back next time. Later.